All right, something kind of funny, well, not really that funny happened the other day. My house ran out of gas. Oh. Like two weeks ago, I was hanging out at the house, checking in on the uh, remodels that have been going on, and the propane truck shows up, and he leaves. And I was like, sweet, got my propane refilled. But later that evening, they called me and they were like, hey, you need to plow out a path to your propane tank. And I was like, plow? You mean like with a truck? Like you need like, you need to back the truck right up to it? And the lady on the phone said, yeah. I'm like, you want me to plow my lawn? She said, yeah. Long story short, I said, oh, no worries. We'll just wait until the spring to fill it up. I'm like, what's my percentage at? She's like, 30. I'm like, sick. Sounds good. Two weeks later, here we are. Gives us an interesting opportunity, though, to do a little bit of house camping. Plus, I get to show you guys the house. There's been a lot done to it since you've seen it last, and I'm excited to finally showcase it. I Wait, yeah, well... Is bigger better? Ladies don't answer that. Or do. Or guys, I don't know. Everybody answer that. Sure. We're gonna get, we're gonna go to the house now. The house is bigger than the truck is what I was trying to say. I was trying to say that that's a time. Honey, I'm home. You guys beat me here. Yeah, that's not good. That's empty. So they told me that was at 30%. Two weeks later at five percent they didn't go out and check it i know they didn't because i didn't see any uh i didn't see any footprints and they can't fill it up on the weekends because they don't run routes on the weekends so i gotta keep my house warm it's a good thing i got a big cord of wood before winter came dragon drink what is this here, you want help? What do you, what kind of help? We're trying to get level. Down. Your side down. Your side down. Oh. Uh oh. Alright, we got our inkers. What is this, a wolf? That would be Lake Superior. Oh yeah, crazy. For those of you that don't know, this is Lake Superior. This is the shape of it. We are right about here now. That's where I live. Wisconsin, Isle Royale. Nice find. All right, so today we're heating up the house with uh, the wood stove because the furnace isn't working. As you can tell, a lot has changed here, like a lot. So why don't I just walk you through some of the rooms really quick and uh, just show you some stuff that we changed around. Furniture wise, changed up a lot of things. The only two things that are really original from the furniture that I bought are these couches right here. In the last video, you guys saw us paint these windows and change the trim. So we changed all the black windows and white trim, kind of modernizes it up a little bit. Got a smaller dining room table. The kitchen, all I really changed in here was just bought a island from Ikea. We changed the lighting up there. We, you guys just saw us hang up that 
Lake Superior picture. Before I show you too much of the house though, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Athletic Greens. AG1 is a product I've been using for a few months now and I've gotta say, I really love being able to take all of my vitamins in just one daily routine. In the morning, right when I'm waking up, I grab this little canister right here, fill it up with the AG1 powder, mix in a little water, and I have my vitamin supplements for the day, quick and easy. I like being good to my body, and uh, I like giving it the nutrients it needs, as well as I like to combat sickness, especially during this time of year. I'm a relatively busy person. Uh, I like to travel around a lot. It is super nice that they come in little travel packs, and I know that I'm gonna be able to get all 75 vitamins in just one sitting. It's really nice to be able to just take a serving of one thing and know that I'm getting all my nutrients for the day and just kind of forget about it. It's comprehensive and it's convenient nutrition. AG1 doesn't taste bad, and this is uh, definitely palatable. So go ahead and click on the link in my description. You're gonna get a year's supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free travel packs of AG1 with your first purchase. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the pre-pre programming. I decided to do like a little custom media table here. Some sweet wood countertops from a local guy. We did this slat railing that I thought turned out really awesome. If you remember before, it was uh, some older looking like spindle rails. And so, I went with a black and like a refinished or a reclaimed barn wood. A big thing that we changed was heating and water. This had some of the hardest water um, that my plumber's ever seen. So we've got a water softener and a just our new water pressure tank. Our water heater is flashing at us because guess what? It doesn't have any gas. So ignition failure there. Uh, moving on over here. This is the one bedroom, it's got two twin beds in it. Somebody actually sent me this um, a long time ago and I finally found a place for it, so thanks Yvonne. Some Home Depot furniture, absolute nightmare to assemble a Home Depot uh, dresser, by the way. Replaced all the fans in the bedrooms. Um, new furniture in this room, just smaller stuff to make the room look bigger. Uh, we got new window shades that go up all nice and pull down all nice. Some new lighting sconces, charging stuff. Still trying to figure out what I want to hang on the walls in here. Um, all right, I guess I can show you now. So if you remember, this house before was a one and a half bath. So one, so it had one bath that had uh, a shower in it. So this was that bathroom. Um, it changed a lot. It looks so good. Um, these lights are cool too, because if you flick them on the first time, they give you like a little glow light. And then the second time is full light. Um, got an Amazon mirror that does like the glow lighting. I think it turned out really nice. All right, now let's move on upstairs. All the plants in this house are fake, by the way. Um, I, I would kill a plant. There's that nice reclaimed barn wood. And then this all used to be spindles too, but I had my contractor make me a... Uh, like a drywall overlook. I think it looked turned out awesome. It's got like some built-in shelving. Just kind of keeps the space open and everything. Um, this is the living room now. So got a new couch up here and a rug, coffee table, and TV. View's still killer. <laughs> no worries there. It's nice and warm up here. Um, this is the big lofted bedroom. Got a little desk space, chair, and then platform bed. I'm a really big fan of platform beds, as you can tell. And then the final thing, this so this used to be a half bath, and we turned it into a full, and it turned out awesome. So we got the shower tower in here. We put in this piece of frosted glass, so if ladies are showering, they don't have to worry about showing some boobies. Backlit Amazon mirror, howdy. And the way that we did this is the wall. So we just knocked this wall down, brought it out, and then just moved all the plumbing over for that and the toilet and we're able to drop in a shower. I think it's huge to have two bathrooms in a house, so it wasn't too much work to do that. And it looks really nice. But this place is pretty much, pretty much about ready to rent. You guys see random money sitting around too, by the way, this is, the fake money that I use, I like play jokes on people and like leave it out, but not just leaving stacks of money around. I wish. So I really like how 
painting the walls and everything just brightened it up. I mean, this is this house is completely different. Looks so much better in my opinion. I actually haven't been spending too much time here um, between camping and just being back at my apartment. Um, I don't know. The only time I've been spending here is just like assembling furniture and getting stuff ready. So luckily I've had my parents and handymen and friends, I guess, help me out uh, assemble some stuff and get this place ready. But it's finally almost here. It's not quite there yet, but it'll get there. Slow down. Going outside. There's still a lot of snow here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up redoing this deck or not, but some of this wood is kind of... Yeah, might need some work out here in the spring. But yeah, there's the inside of the house. All right, so right now you can see it's 44 degrees outside. 63 in here. We are solely heating this place up just on that wood stove right now. We got the picture all hung up. Um, got the Xbox set up. Gotta put some more wood in here. That's my last piece inside. So like I said, we're gonna be heating up the house tonight with just the just wood. I'm sitting down trying to decide what to make for dinner. I know that I don't have gas. All right. Hmm. Also, I don't know who did this. They, somebody sent me an email and like, it's my phone background, okay? Uh, I really wanna give this person credit, but I just looked through my emails for like an hour and a half and I can't find it. So this is yours. Thank you very much. It's like one of my favorite things that people have ever done for me. Like art wise, I think it's just so, it's so cool. If you did make this, reach out to me on Instagram. Um, I'll make things right, but this is so crazy. All right, I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat and how I'm gonna cook it. All right, to the grocery store. Potatoes. Wow, I parked like an idiot. Must have to do with driving a truck, dude. What the heck was I doing? So to finish up my story about the uh, the gas, so I was told that it was at 30% and I went up there one day to just go take a shower. Like I went to go take a warm shower. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the water to get warm and I go to check it and it had that error on it where it's like ignition problem, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, crap. And I was like, oh, I better go check the tank. I went to go check the tank and it's in the black. It's like under 5%, which is so bad for like all of your systems. It's just bad for everything. It's bad for the tank, it's bad for your house. Not good. I called the uh, company back and what does this plowing of the driveway look like? And they said, oh, well, it just needs to be like a footpath. And I'm like, that is so much different than plowing my entire lawn. So anyway, I hired the neighbor kid and uh, he dug me out a path. Adulting, I feel like a complete idiot. 
I thought there was more gas in the tank. I didn't really assume because I was told there was more gas in the tank. But anyway, we're cooking up some fish tonight. It's a good thing too because I'm freaking hungry. My two homes are together. Here we are. Just like home. <laughs> All right, so today's recipe comes from Vitor uh, in Portugal. This recipe is called Cod Abras. Abras? There's no, it's not. It's not Spanish. Cod ab abras, abre. I don't know, but it's pretty simple. It's cod potatoes, olive oil, onion, egg. This is something I normally wouldn't do in my truck. I wash the potato. I need some water. Woo! Just gonna cook our cod. Really? I don't want to cook it like that. Cook it with water? How about oil? The recipe says water. Where'd oil at? I have sesame oil. Yeah, it sounds good. Let's do sesame oil. Yes, sir. making french fries here i guess i always have the hardest time cutting french fries i don't know why but that's how my brain's wired fish is getting nice and flaky in a separate pot. We're gonna heat our peanut oil. Oh crap, did I just cut that butter? Oh, dude. Olive oil. Definitely a little easier cooking in the kitchen. It's funny, this is like the first time I've, I've like filmed in the kitchen. It feels weird. Peanut oil is like the god oil for frying. These fries are gonna slap. Give me my garlic. What about boy? Garlic. Where's the garlic, dude? I'm not panicking, you're panicking. Okay. Mm. 
grab your egg after it's cooled slightly. Let the hot stuff cook the egg. Looks like it's getting cooked a little bit by the pan, but. All right, here we have it. Cod a la fraise. Uh, a la fraise, cod a la fraise. Nice white flaky cod, some egg mixed in. Let's give it a shot. For no seasoning and like pretty just raw ingredients, this is a, uh, it's tasty. It's good. I would actually never have cooked fish like this if I had never had gotten this recipe. It just all like kind of complements each other. The onion, the potato. It seems like one of those dishes that like you make that's different for like your guests. You know what I mean? I like it. All, that's all I know is I like it. Mm. Thank you so much for the recipe. If you have a recipe, um, please submit it on mavmadeit.com. I really want to know what your guys' favorite recipes are. Um, if you have a story behind it, if it's just something you really like, go to mavmadeit.com and just shoot me your favorite recipe, please. All right, which one? I earned one. Mm. It's, not, it's not too bad. I honestly thought it was gonna be cooling off faster in here. A couple more logs in here. The learning process using the wood stove. I think I got the hang of it. All right, so we got 22 degrees outside. 76 in here. It's more than cozy. All right, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, and do I need to be here when he fills it up? Um, no, I don't believe so, unless your tank is empty. It is empty. Okay, so then someone needs to be there so we can do the leak test and the restart. Okay, sounds good. Okay, sweet. Here's your delivery slip. Okay. And then that's a safety pamphlet. Sounds good. All right, well, we finally got heat. A little bit different from my usual episodes, but that'll be fun update in the house. Thanks for tuning in this episode. As always, until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.